Unlike Easy Mill Express and Easy Mill, a flat end mill does not roll up and over surfaces during roughing operations. This would cause added stress to the cutter end machine. Just the opposite, the tool travels in a stair step fashion with no added pressure in the Z axis. EasyCam adds additional passes over flat surfaces to maintain a constant finish allowance. There are times where it is preferred to machine at a constant depth of cut. To achieve this, we use Ignore Flat Surfaces. Easy Mill Pro offers ramping options as the tool feeds down into the work. Step finish only cuts up against the walls, not throughout the roughing process. Additional tool percentage avoids machining into pockets and holes. These features can be ignored by up to twice the diameter of the tool. With a side allowance, you can leave rough material on vertical walls and come back with a constant Z, contour, or a finish operation that discriminates vertical surfaces. Let's have the tool plunge on the edge of the outside boundaries using the face milling option. Equidistant offers you a consistent step over no matter the surface slope, allowing you to produce better part finishes. In Mill Pro, even Parallel and Constant Z have a variation of Equidistant when you select the Variable Step option. There is a Scallop Height option to regulate the size of the cusp.
As the tool progresses to the next step, you have many options. Spiral is a smooth transition. Zigzag keeps the tool engaged, constantly feeding in the direction of the next cut as it completes the path along the selected surfaces. Here we have several models, the ones that make up our fixture, the rotary table, and our part solid. It can be difficult working with all models together, so I'm going to demonstrate how to move our part file using the layer manager and discrimination. Our part is centered on the table. We'll move it to the edge. Under edit, you'll find our layer manager. You have a few options to choose from. You can hide any selected, show, delete, and or copy. So we'll select all files, uncheck our part, and hide the rest. Now I can go to translate. We'll move the part in X by negative 122 millimeters. Go back to the layer manager, select all models, and show. You can see we're lined up nicely. Now let's move it back. I'm going to go back using uh, positive 122 millimeters. We'll go to discriminate layers. Select only our part layer. And that is how you use the layer manager and discrimination.
let's take a look at what we've machined so far. First, let's take a quick look at how we used to set up for machining. We need to know the indexing angle. We'll create a new coordinate system in line with the world. To be in line, X, Y, and Z will be set at zero. Looking at a top view, we are not in line to machine the slot on the face. Therefore, we must rotate the new UCS 45 degrees around X. The same procedure was used in the past for the other side. We have eliminated the need for a new user coordinate system. EasyCam aligns itself perpendicular or parallel to the selected faces. All machining takes place in the world coordinate system. No extra work is required. Simulate and indexing happens automatically. We have now added our new features at the click of a mouse. Thank you for watching our MillPro demonstration.